Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. We have had gusty to strong winds around throughout the day today, and right now sustained wind speeds are currently between 15 and 30 miles per hour. This wind is coming out of the west or the west-northwest in most locations, and this strong wind is going to be sticking around through tonight and into tomorrow. And most locations east of the Continental Divide, including the Helena Valley, are under a high wind warning through 6 p.m. tomorrow evening or 12 a.m. or 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Widespread gusts up to 65 miles per hour are going to be possible times and as we go through tonight in the valleys it's still going to be breezy but the wind won't be terrible overnight tonight however in the higher elevations as well as in the plains we are going to continue to have windy conditions tonight and then everyone is going to be dealing with strong wind during the day tomorrow sustained wind speeds are going to be between 20 and 40 miles per hour and widespread gusts over 50 miles per hour are expected and this wind is going to continue to come out of the the west or the west northwest in most spots tomorrow night the wind will diminish for some of us but we're still going to have widespread gusty winds around and then it will be another gusty day on wednesday with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 30 miles per hour but that wind will get weaker as the day goes on and the wind will start to come more out of the north as we head into the into wednesday rather than out of the west on the opportunity bank of montana weather camera we have had partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day today and it has been dry today around helena Really throughout much of the western half of the state it has been dry, but in eastern Montana it's been a very wet day today and this precipitation will be working its way westward as we go through tomorrow. So we'll start to see some of that rain and snow around Helena later on tomorrow and that will stick around through the day on Wednesday. Now, as we go through this evening and tonight around the Helena area, a couple isolated rain and sun showers possible for the most part will be dry as most of the precipitation tonight will be east of I-15 and it will be in the form of rain in the lower elevations with snow mainly confined to the mountains. And then as we go through tomorrow, that rain will be working its way towards the south and the west as the day goes on. So around Helena, overcast for the entire day, mostly dry in the lower elevations during the morning with a little bit of rain and snow in the mountains. But then as we head into the afternoon and the evening. That's when developing rain and snow is expected. Starting out as rain in the lower elevations, but as we head into tomorrow night, that's when a rain snow mix or primarily snow is expected in the lower elevations. Heading into Wednesday, we're going to have widespread snow and rain around during the morning. Then that precipitation will start to taper off as we head into the afternoon and the evening. There are a ton of winter weather alerts in effect for this storm system. The red is a blizzard warning, the purple is a winter weather advisory, and then the pink is a winter storm warning. The blizzard warning is in effect for the Little Belt Mountains and the Highwood Mountains from 12 p.m. tomorrow through 12 a.m. on Thursday. Blizzard conditions are expected expecting one to three feet of snow accumulation in the Little Belt and Highwood Mountains and winds are going to be gusting as high as 60 miles per hour at times which means whiteout conditions are also expected you definitely do not want to be traveling in that area if possible there's also several winter storm warnings in fact we have a winter storm warning in effect for the Rocky Mountain front from noon tomorrow until 12 a.m. on Thursday 2 to 12 inches of snow accumulation at and below pass level with potentially up to 20 inches of snow accumulation in the mountains and then for the Big Belt the Bridger, Castle, Judith, and Snowy Mountains. We also have a winter storm morning in effect. 7 to 14 inches of snow accumulation is possible in the mountains. And then several winter weather advisories in effect as well, including for some of the mountains south of Helena, where 1 to 16 inches of snow accumulation is expected. And taking a closer look at the snow mounts, the highest snow mounts will be in the mountains and the lower elevations, including in the Helena Valley. Up to an inch or two of snow accumulation is possible, but not expecting a lot in the way of snow accumulation. Expecting a lot of precipitation, though, is anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half precipitation is expected in most spots around Helena. Tonight, a chilly night, mid to upper 30s and low to mid 40s for your lows, and then it will be chilly tomorrow with high temperatures only in the 40s.